you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl b and if y'all can't already tell from the title down below today's video is gonna be um kind of the the video gonna be kind of different today um i decided to start doing about once a week a new segment on my channel called who child the reason why i decided to name it who child is because i'm gonna be basically uh talking about topics that y'all probably already seen on like instagram or facebook or somewhere um or just like you know stuff that y'all probably see on the news or whatever i'm just gonna be like discussing stuff that make you go like like what the fuck like why would you even do that or this situation is crazy we're gonna be talking about it but um before we get into this video make sure you guys comment like and subscribe follow me on all social medias and yeah we finna get straight into this video oh i'm trying to like and don't judge me y'all because i'm sitting on like this little stool thing but anyway so um for today's topic of the new segment who child is we're gonna be talking about um the apology letter ken from diara and ken wrote now if y'all don't know who diara and ken is diara and ken is like this famous youtube couple or whatever and they've been doing youtube for like a long time i don't i can't say exactly how long but a long time i know i've been like following them and subscribed to them for a long time but um so basically what happened was he went live on this um app called twitch and on that um live he was you know seen and like we we you could see him and you could hear him talking about you know talking to some girl named taylor and some other girls uh i guess his friend knew the girls or whatever and he was like they was facetiming the girls or whatever i don't know but ken was kind of like you know i guess flirting you could say with the girls um and but you can tell he was like a little drunk or whatever so basically that's just the the background and don't quote me on nothing because you know that's just basically what happened this you know or at least this my because the reason why i say don't quote me on it is because i'm not gonna say that he was flirting because in his eyes maybe he wouldn't but to the people it made it seem like he was but anyway um i'm gonna read y'all the um the apology letter that he wrote and my whole purpose of talking about this is because one thing that i kept saying that i really didn't like was um people kept saying oh it sounds like a suicide no he finna kill himself and i just feel like that's like rude as fuck to say because when people say stuff like that it make it seem like damn you want this man to kill himself like damn you because y'all know damn well this ain't no apology um this ain't no uh suicide note he just okay let me just read it and then i'm gonna explain what i mean okay so ken said at some point and i try to uh put it put the apology uh letter in the video um all i did was screenshot it from the um shade rooms because this the only place i could find it so well i'm pretty sure it probably wasn't the only place i could find it but that's the only place that i seen it on so but anyway so um ken was like at some point y'all will realize that constantly attacking someone's character and actions despite not knowing what happens but behind closed doors is wrong you all assume you know everything but in reality you know nothing you want me to be the bad guy fine you run without a context clip clips and instead of watching the full thing just for a few views and sound bites and for what for what reason my entire uh stream knew what was happening and we had a good time and that was two weeks ago but i guess the content will well dried up and i became the only option hope it was worth it but this is a reminder to anyone looking to start a career online people with flaws and and invisible mistakes will blow up your flaws and mistakes to make themselves uh few, well i guess themselves feel better i get he said feel better but i guess he mean feel better but um he said people with flaws and in, invisible mistakes will blow up your flaws and mistakes to make themselves feel better and will paint your image around it i wish everyone well i wish everyone well as i always have never wanted to be in drama but somehow found my way into it and that's something i take full responsibility for shit happens sometimes and we don't always have and we don't always have to understand it but instead live with it i love myself but the internet has made y'all i'm sorry i can barely see this stuff it's kind of small 
He said, I love myself, but the internet has made me hate myself. But hey, they think we're not human, apparently. To my mom, D era, family, friends, love of all, love all of y'all, and just know, I'll, love all of y'all, and just know you all have impacted my life in many ways, and I never forget what each of you have done for me. Be blessed and remember to love yourself. Some will say he's just playing victim, and others will understand. It's no longer for me to decide because I no longer care. But I ain't gonna lie. Out of all of that, what stood out to me was when he said, and don't get me wrong, I'm probably just reaching. But what stood out to me was when he said, um, to my mom, the era, family, and friends, love all of y'all and just know you all have impacted my life in, in many ways. Like... I don't know as if I don't know as if he's speaking in like past tense or something like that. Like I don't know, maybe I'm just reading into it, but I don't know. Just disregard that. But um, yeah, like what I was saying on the internet, I really didn't like that because basically they try to make it seem like that was a suicide note. Come on now, y'all know damn well there was not no suicide note. He basically just trying to you know tell y'all what's going on and basically saying my you know keep my name at y'all mouth. Y'all really need to mind y'all business honestly because y'all don't know what's going on that's basically from my understanding what he's saying he just trying to like let y'all know that that was old and y'all just trying to start some shit basically so i didn't like how people were saying like oh that's a suicide note and all that because like when you say stuff like that shit it make it seem like you want it to be a suicide note you see what i'm saying i don't like stuff like that but now this is just my my opinion I do feel like, because a lot of people be saying, like, De'Ara don't be wearing her ring. She took fiancé off of her bio or some shit or engaged or something. I don't be following it like that. But I just be, like, hearing and seeing stuff. My personal opinion, and this is just my personal opinion, I feel like once you put your life on social media, whether it's, like, making just a status on Facebook or if you making a post on Snapchat or a post on Twitter, I feel like once you even put your own um, business out there, people going to always feel entitled to have something to say. And I feel like you shouldn't really just, I know you ain't going to be able to help, but sometimes getting your feelings. But honestly, I mean, I just feel like that it is what it is. Because once you put your business out there, you basically making everybody else have an opinion because if you didn't put it out there then they wouldn't know so they wouldn't have no opinion but with that being said i do feel like another way to like just squat like you know squash you know rumors and people gossiping or whatever is you telling them what it is yourself because honestly me because my my youtube channel i i like to consider my youtube channel still new and i'm still growing each and every day and me i know what i'm doing by you know sitting in front of this camera editing this video and uploading i know that eventually you know once my family like my youtube family get bigger on my channel i know that you know people gonna feel entitled for me to answer them people gonna feel entitled to like leave their opinions and stuff and that's totally fine because i knew what i was getting myself into so with that being said i feel like that maybe like the era and ken should just because i mean the era and ken like they let us see their life they've been letting us see their life for so long so i kind of feel like maybe they should just like tell us you know like just tell us what it is because a lot of people come up with so many rumors a lot of people saying that maybe they not together well i ain't gonna say rumors but they say like um uh, theories they coming up with these theories saying that maybe they really not together they just together well they trying to make it seem like they together for the money or whatever um or maybe you know they got an open relationship or maybe the era just in it for the money and he really is cheating or whatever i just feel like if it was me i just come out and i just tell y'all because y'all because like Dara and karen they've been doing youtube for so long and i just feel like a lot of people they let us into their life for so long so just just tell the people what it is but i'm not saying that you know they just have to do it i'm just saying if it was me i'd be like hey this is what it is our relationship ain't perfect we going through this this and that we we human we normal couples and i feel like people will respect them much more if they did that because i'd be saying people talking hella shit about them like that's why i said i just come out and say hey this is what it is we going through this 
we either gonna work it out or we not. And honestly, um, I feel like they like I don't know, like people be saying they in it for the money or whatever, but I, like I couldn't stay like I don't know how to explain it because I, I I'm pretty sure that if Deara and Ken break up, I'm pretty damn sure they still gonna be making money. I mean, come on now, how much money can y'all lose from being together? From, well, from not being together, you see what I'm saying? And now I'm not saying they in it for the money. I'm just saying if that's this just my my personal opinion. If they in it for the money, um, I'm pretty sure that if they was to break up to, you know, like break up and let the world know that they broke up, I'm pretty sure they ain't gonna lose that damn much money if they is in it for the money. But I mean, like I said, De'Aaron and Ken been doing YouTube for so long, but we don't, it's 24 hours in a day, seven days a week. We don't know what go on in their relationship. We don't know what go on behind closed doors. We only know what they show us. So, but that's what I'm saying, like, in my opinion, to like squash all this, my bad, I was trying to see how long is this, anyway, but in my personal opinion, I just like tell the people what it is, you see what I'm saying, because I feel like, I mean, it's, I mean, you, it's the YouTube family, you see what I'm saying, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. I, if I was them, that's what I do. Just go on, tell them. Because, like I said, I feel like people will respect them more if they just, you know, just tell, you know, you know what I'm saying? But then again, maybe it ain't nothing to tell. But, but like, I, like I said, then again, if it's not nothing to tell, at least tell the people, hey, we just human. We love each other. We still together. We just, we be going through stuff. But, um, but yeah, y'all. Um, and back to this to that note, I almost called it a suicide note, but it's not a suicide note. It was an apology letter. But back to it real quick. Um, I just want to say once again that that's not cool. Like saying that somebody um, wrote a suicide note when you know that's not a suicide note. I mean, yeah, it just sounds like he fed up with everything. That's all. But it's not, you know, giving me I'm finna kill myself vibes. It seemed like that people want him to have those type of vibes. But, um, but yeah, that, that's just my, um, personal opinion. And, um, I'm so excited about this new, uh, segment on my channel. Um, but, um, this is the end of this video of, who child. And, um, I got, I plan on doing, you know, more videos like this. Well, more segments kind of like this where we just, like, discuss stuff that's going on or whatever. But, yeah, that's the end of this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on all social medias. And I'll see y'all in my next video.